All right, everybody. Um, today, to do the lesson, you're going to need a ruler with centimeters and a protractor that does angles, okay? Because we're actually going to draw the following triangle. So we're going to draw a triangle ABC where A is going to be 6 centimeters long, B is going to be 7, and A is going to be a 40 degree angle. So I've already drawn it. I have already drawn it. And I'll show you how I got this answer, okay? So I start out with just drawing a line across, took my ruler, drew it across, and then I took my protractor and I zeroed out the protractor here, and I got a 40 degree, and I drew that line in. So I got a 40 degree angle. Now, this is angle A, 40 degrees, so then this has to be side B. So I took my ruler and I drew it to be seven centimeters. Okay, drew it to there, okay? Now, angle A is 40, so side A has to be on the other side, opposite side. So I used my ruler and I found out exactly where it touched, six. And then I erased all the extra. So here's my triangle, A, B, and of course, I know that C right there, angle C, because triangle ABC. So then from here, I just did what I've always done, the law of sines. I have a pair of opposites. I set up for a pair of opposites here for angle B, even though you know it. Let's just pretend we don't. Um, so I set up my sine of B. I like to write the unknown down first. Sine of B over 7 is equal to the sine of 40 over 6. I multiplied up the 7. On my calculator, I went 7 sine of 40 divided by 6. I got a decimal on my calculator, okay? So it's just 7, 7, clear out it's not working very well. Anyway, and I got a decimal. I signed inverse that, and I got an answer about 48.6. So angle B turned out to be about 48.6. Point six on my calculator. Okay, let's see if I can show that to you. Okay, here's a good calculator. This one's going to work for me. So I just went 7 sine 40 divided by 6. I got a decimal. And I went sine inverse because I want to find the angle of that answer. And I get an answer about 48.6. Okay. So I put that in my triangle. I don't know angle C. Let's pretend I haven't found it yet. But I know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So to find angle C, I just went 180 minus 40 plus 48, and I got it to be about 91.4. Now, I don't know side C, but again, I have a pair of opposites. So if I want side C, I go C over the sine of 91.4 over is equal to 6 over sine of 40. I multiplied up the sine 91. I just went 6 sine 91.4. Four, close the parentheses, divided by sine of 40, and I got an answer of about 9.33, okay? Now, we went to the second example, and then the problem with the second example is, and you're going to see this, triangle does not exist, okay? So we're drawing this triangle here. We don't know anything about it. We have no idea, so we draw it, okay? So I drew my line here, my angle A, my line. I took my protractor and I drew it 50, right? I made side B 8 right there. And then if I draw side A of 3, it doesn't make it. It's not long enough. This is not a triangle. So if it's not a triangle, then we can't solve it. We're done. It's not a triangle. We're not going to solve something that's not a triangle. So we're finished, OK? Now the third example on the back. What happens here is when you draw it, you're going to get the following. Here's your angle A, which is 30 degrees. I'm going to draw in my 30 degree angle. Make this side B, which is 7. So I use my protractor, I'm oh, sorry, my ruler. Seven's right there, so I'm going to erase the extra. I need then five, which is A, so side A's got to be over here. So I draw five, 
and I get it right there is my five. Boom. Okay, now what makes this one weird? I mean, so far it seems exactly like the last triangle. Okay, it looks exactly like B, C, just like example one. It's not much difference between that and example one, except today's lesson is called the ambiguous case. Why is this ambiguous? Well, I could have drawn this five right here and had a different triangle. It's still the same directions. 30, degree, 30 degrees, 7, and 5. Which triangle's correct? They both are. Both triangles work. So what we know in here is a side, a side, and an angle, right? If we get this, now one thing a geometry book would never write, or any math book would never write, is to write it like angle, side, side. Aha, I see, that's a bad word. So if we have an angle side side, you know it's going to be a bad triangle. There is either going to be one triangle that exists, no triangle exists, or the possibility of two possible triangles. So we solved it. What we did is we went in our notes, and first we solved for the big triangle, just exactly like we did the other one on the page. We have our opposites, right? We want to sign a B first. Here's my opposites. And then I went big triangle, so I went my opposite, so we went sine of b over 7 equals sine of 30 over 5. We found it that the angle was about 44.4 degrees. We knew to find the third angle. We subtracted from 180. We got 105 degrees there. And then we need to find side c. Again, we use our opposites. Side c of the sine of 105.6 is equal to 5 over the sine of 30. We multiplied, used our calculator, we got 9.63. Okay, that's no problem. We've done that. But now to find the other triangle, the small triangle, the trick is this. Now listen, listen. These two sides, this inside this triangle, well, 5 and 5. If these two sides are the same, then these two angles are the same. So 5 and 5, it's an isosceles triangle. Their angles are equal 44.4, and I drew a 44.4 here. I don't want this angle because now angle B is way over here. So I've moved angle B here because this is the triangle I'm looking for. It's this triangle. So angle B is this angle. Well, I know in a straight line there's 180 degrees. So I just took 180 minus 44.4, and I got this obtuse angle. So angle B, remember this triangle's not there. Angle B is... 135.6. Okay, again, this small little blue triangle, this angle C is no longer 105.6. It's little. So, but still 180 degrees in a triangle, so I found angle C by 180 minus my two remote angles, and I got 14.4. So angle C is 14.4. Okay, now I'm getting there. Now, side C is no longer all the way across here because this triangle's not there. Side C is this little piece right here. But again, I have opposites. I have opposites here and opposites here. So I set up my opposites. My side C over the sine of 14.4 equals my 5 over sine of 30. I cross multiplied. 5 times sine of 14.4, close parentheses, divided by sine of 30, and I got 2.5. So that is the ambiguous case. Um, and that's all I have for today. Okay, if you have any questions, come see me and check out the homework.